Hi, hello, hey. So in this video, I'm going to be drawing some movie scenes from Princess and the Frog. And um, at the start, I was going to actually do um, three on the first page, but I only ended up doing two on each page. So just, you know, ignore that. <laughs> and I actually filmed myself sketching this time. What? I totally forgot, honestly, that I filmed myself sketching till I was editing. And I was like, is that a video of me sketching? And I was like, oh yeah, I did film that. <laughs> well, I didn't film the whole thing, but I filmed um, this this one and part of the last drawing. But I didn't film the middle two. Yeah, I didn't want this video to be too long. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so far in this series of drawing, like, movie scenes slash, like, Disney movie scenes... I've done Alice in Wonderland and Cinderella. And honestly, like, the other two, I didn't watch much as a kid. I just did them because, like, they're so, like, they're so pretty. I, mean, I did watch them as a kid, but, like, not compared to this one. <laughs> this one was actually, like, the only, like, or this and Tangled are the only two, like, Disney Princess movies that I can, like, get my dad to watch. I don't know why he won't watch Sleeping Beauty with me, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's seen all of them, but he'll actually say yes if I put this on. He'll be like, okay, fine, we can watch that. <laughs> yeah, and I have, um, have slash, I was gonna say had, but I, I still have it. Um, I have Princess and the Frog on DVD, so I used to watch it all the time. But yeah, now I have Disney Plus, and like, the possibilities are endless now watching all the disney things but yeah so here's me not filming the whole sketch and when i start painting i will show like the reference photos but um i just edited it that way where you don't see it till after i start so i can do an intro i think was my plan <laughs> but yeah so um i already like knew like two of the scenes i was gonna draw but i didn't know what to do for the other two I think I'll talk about each one when, like, I start painting. But yeah, so I'm going to be using my jelly gouache in this video, like I have done for the other series. And I might, this might be the last time I use them for a video, because, like, I was battling with them today. <laughs> and also because I for, oh yeah, also, I should have said this earlier, but, you know, better late than never. Um, I knew I was going to paint over the sketches, so I didn't spend much time on the sketch or, like, put that much effort into it. So just, like, know the at the end, the paintings will look better than the sketch. The sketches are not good, and I didn't try to make them very good. So, you know, warning, I guess. <laughs> don't look at the sketches. They're ugly. And, you know, don't expect the paintings to look as bad as this. But yeah, um, I think this is probably, like, the last video I'm going to be using my jelly, jelly gouache. Because I have a smaller set that, like, doesn't dry out as easy. And I like the smaller set, but the bigger set is just, like, so annoying. I've been trying to get myself to use them for these videos. Because, like, the reason I make these drawing from movie scenes videos is because, like, one, you know, it's kind of fun, right? Drawing from, like, movies I watched as a kid. And, um, two, I want to get better at drawing backgrounds. And, like, this is how I'm doing that. Because, <laughs> you know, I like to draw kind of, like, I don't know, like, fantasy stuff, right? So drawing from, like, you know, fantasy, you know, movies is, like, a good way to get, like, you know, good backgrounds that are, like, fun. But yeah, so here is the finished sketches. Um, they're ugly. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Here's my gouache drawer. What? I don't know why I decided to film this, but I was like, we're going to film me getting the paints because, you know, everyone wants to see the gouache drawer. <laughs> Yeah, so I think next time I film one of these videos, I'm just going to use, like, literally any other type of gouache. So here's the first reference photo. The boat. <laughs> and honestly, this one, I kind of discovered, like, this one on accident. Because I did not remember them, like, showing the whole boat like this. Like, when I was looking for paint or stuff to paint, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot to say this too, but by the way, the scenes are not in order. I put them next to what I thought would look best, like, color-wise. So, it's, like, actually really out of order. Like, I think the boat is, like, second to last order-wise. 
and um yeah also um I kind of like messed up on this too like it's fine but all of these scenes are from like either like the middle of the movie or the end of the movie there's nothing from the beginning which is kind of (laughs) sad I could have I could have chose like so many more though as usual I'm like there's so many more but I wanted to do less scenes this time like one so it's faster and um second because I had like to draw so small last time last time I did like the same like size it was like a spread like this but I did like twice as many scenes and I was just I did not want to draw that small again even though this still felt so small so I might just do two next time (laughs) well I'm just gonna keep lowering it down till it doesn't feel like I'm like painting miniatures or something yeah so this boat scene I was actually gonna do like um the scene from where like they go on like a little like Erin Avene sets up like a little date for Tiana on the boat and they're like frogs and it's like this cute there's like a, a teacup as the table I was gonna paint that but I couldn't find like a good like zoomed out part of the scene and I kind of found one but I was like man I don't like this one as much so um and then this is around like either before or after that they zoom out on the boat and I'm like that's actually really pretty so I ended up painting this and I think it matches too. Also, I forgot to paint the dang like water wheel on the back of the boat. I kept telling myself I was going to do it last and then I like somehow forgot. And I remembered it like as I was like editing. So here's the second scene I'm painting and me like forgetting to paint the water wheel. <laughs> so I actually like remembered like how to use gouache on this one. And I did like a background with watercolor. I do that on the next movie scene too and I'll show I actually film myself painting like the the base layer with watercolor and I just do that because these paints like lift really easily you do like three layers and the paint starts like coming off so um normally I'll do like a base layer with watercolor so they don't lift you know but I did like forget yeah so you know that's fun also i think the boat scene actually turned out pretty good it was took me forever to sketch like the windows and stuff but i think it turned out good so i'm proud not as good as a reference photo and i didn't really know how to paint the weird buildings in the back but i think it turned out good oh my god in this one i thought this one was going to be really hard to paint and draw but i did this in like one sitting like the painting well, besides, like, the watercolor, like, um, base layers, but I did, like, the gouache painting in, like, one sitting, and it doesn't, you know, obviously it doesn't look, like, exactly like how it does in the movie. <laughs> Don't expect it to look just like, you know, it is in the movie, okay? Obviously, you know, my art style is different, and also, like, I can't draw that good. <laughs> but yeah, I, like, I cannot believe how easy this one was. Like, I thought this was going to be really hard, like, the lighting and stuff, but I was, like, did this so fast, and I was like, whoa, am I done? Like, I actually like it. So, that was crazy. Oh, yeah, and the reason I picked this scene was it's my favorite scene in the movie. I've always loved the scene, so I knew immediately, like, I was going to have to paint something from this scene. I almost painted two paintings from this scene. Like, that's why I had three paintings at the beginning on this page, because I was going to do two from this scene, because I found two that I really liked. One where they're on a lily pad dancing above the water. And then this one where they're dancing under the water. Yeah, I really like this, so I'm happy I chose this. It's like the um the lighting is so pretty, like the pink lights and then also like the flowers are like glowing. It's so cool. The scene is so pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably mention this too, but I've kind of like challenged myself to upload a video every week, like this month. I might not do it next month because, um, turns out that's, like, a lot of work. <laughs> I used to upload, like, multiple videos a week. Like, it was nothing. But I think it's because I only do, like, one drawing per video. So, you know, that's why I wasn't doing four paintings. But, um, yeah, four paintings in one week is a lot. Technically, though, um, I think I, I actually started this, like, before, like, last video. Yeah, because actually... I forgot. So the boat painting I did a, like two weeks ago, but the other three I did this week. So here's the next one. This was another one where I knew I wanted to paint this exact screenshot from that scene because it's so pretty. Actually, not the exact screenshot, but I knew I wanted to paint something from this scene. 
Oh yeah, and beware, this one has like a really big ugly stage. It looks bad for a while before it looks good. And I honestly, I still kind of like don't like it that much. So there's that. <laughs> I like also, so on the right, there's like these little trees and there's these little trees under the little trees. Right? And I like, I don't know even know how, but like for most of the painting, I thought the trees were all the same color. And I was like, how did they put two things next to each other that are the same color that don't look like the same color? And I was so confused. And like at the very end of the painting, I realized they weren't the same color. Like one of the trees was like clearly like blue green and the other one was like normal green. And I like, I don't know how I was like looking at it and thought they were the same color. So I don't know like what I was doing, but I thought they were the same color for the longest time. And I was, like, trying to figure out how to shade it with them looking different, but, like, them being, like, the same color, but they weren't the same color. So I don't know, like, what I was doing. Like, I was, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I was staring at the reference photo for that long and, like, didn't notice that or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, um, that's fun. Oh, yeah, I, I remember, too, when I was picking out the reference photos, I wanted to do another one of, like, the Bayou you know, so I've never painted that before, but, um, then I ended up choosing four that weren't that, so I was like, okay, guess I'm not painting that, yeah, so I was a little sad about that, I also really wanted to paint, like, one of Tiana's, like, outfits, because I really like her outfits in this movie, they're so at 1920s, <laughs> oh my god, her mom's hair, I know we haven't gotten there yet, but her mom has, like, the 1920s haircut, and I never realized that before, and then I was drawing it, and I was like, that's funny. Her mom is, like, so hip, you know? She's cool. <laughs> She's the 1920s haircut. Yeah, anyway, so I wanted to paint, like, one of her outfits, but the painting I did do of Tiana, like, um, you can't really see her outfit that well, which is kind of sad. But yeah, so, sadness. Anyway, I've always loved the flowers in this scene, the purple ones. At the end of the scene, Charlotte, like, grabs a bouquet of them. And, um, oh my god, is her name Charlotte? It's not Charlotte, is it? It's like, it's like Charlotte, but it's not Charlotte, is it? I can't remember her name. And they call her Lottie or something. That's embarrassing. Fun fact, um, I have a Barbie of Charlotte, not Charlotte, and Tiana. You know, no one asked, but now you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wait, this is such a funny story. I just remembered. Oh my God, what is her name? I literally, her name's not Charlotte. Is it? Is it, It's probably Charlotte now that I'm like, thinking it's Charlotte. It's not Charlotte, though. They call her Lottie or something, or it's not Lonnie, because she has T's in her name, so it's Lottie, right? Anyway, the doll I had of her, her shoes would never stay on. And I would, like, it would drive me crazy but there's this one scene where she, like, kicks her feet and her shoes come off. So, in my head, I was like, is that why her shoes don't stay on? Because, like, in this one scene, like, her shoes fall off. <laughs> I don't I don't think that was it. But that's what little me thought. I was like, that's it, right? <laughs> also, I've been planning to do this video since, like, summertime. I was like... This will be such a cute little painting video for the summer since I feel like the movie is like summery, you know? And then like, um, it's fall now. <laughs> it's fine. Fun fact, I was spending so much time staring at the reference photo being confused for all of these paintings. I sped the footage up times 10. And it doesn't even look like it's that fast. Like, normally, I have them put up, like, times five. I used to do it all times two, but now that I do, like, no, now that, like, on average, I do multiple paintings for video, and I still, like, want them to be, like, 20 minutes long, I times them times five, but this doesn't, this looks like it's times five, like, I think, but it's times ten, because I was, like, looking at it for so long. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, I was gonna mention this, too. Okay, we'll tell you after. This is the final reference photo. 
I really wanted to paint one from um the the end of the movie and Tiana's like final outfit so I decided that that was the outfit I wanted to paint and then like during like the final end song she like hugs her mom and I was like oh that's cute I like did not remember they do that you know and she's like look I finally got my restaurant her mom's like oh and I'm like oh watching it so I decided to paint that and um yeah you can't see her outfit that good but that's why I chose it (laughs) The thing I was going to mention, I probably should have mentioned this at the start of the video, but um, I could not get the colors, like, close to how they look, like, in the reference photos. They're much, like, brighter, especially with, like, the lighting and stuff, and just, like, a lot of it. Like, I couldn't get the colors the same, and I don't know if it was, like, me not being able to, like, figure out how to mix the color or if just that's just, like, digital colors looking different, which it happens a lot, like, um... Especially, I notice, like, when I post up on Instagram and, like, um, art challenges, I'll see my drawings compared to the digital ones, and my drawings will look so desaturated. But, like, when I compare my art to, like, other traditional artists, like, mine's pretty saturated. But, like, compared to, like, digital, it's, like, not. <laughs> Which is crazy. But, yeah, I do think some of the colors are more, like, saturated than the digital ones. But, um some of them aren't like the lighting specifically also because like i think digital like you can kind of do this thing where you like make it like glow like all easy but like mixing stuff glow and traditional is like it's a thing it's a whole thing oh yeah when i was painting their faces i decided to do their eyeshadow first for some reason i've never done that before but i was like we need to do the purple eyeshadow first <laughs> it's very important oh yeah and also I feel like I keep saying oh yeah and also like five times in this video. Oh yeah and also. Um, I did add some more details compared to the reference photo on some of these. Actually, the one with the frogs dancing. I never used my tiny brush in that painting. And I thought for some reason in the garden painting, I was like, yeah, I don't need my tiny brush. I'll just use my second smallish brush like no problem and then i was like no this is a problem this one's like has way more details like the people sitting like in the thing like that was the worst and i still feel like it looks really bad but that is so small like that could be nail art like it's that tiny (laughs) yeah anyway so um i did add a couple more details than like the reference photo had just because like it looked weird without it because like you know, this isn't, like, a paused animation. These are actual paintings. So there needs to be a little more detail. Especially on this painting. Yeah, because, um, fun, um, fun little fact about this painting. Um, I was really, like, I was really, like, we are gonna finish this video this week. And so, I spent hours painting today, finishing this painting. I did, like, pretty much the whole painting today. Oh, yeah, and also, fun fact, I should have done a watercolor base on this one. I don't know why I didn't, but, like, their skin tones look really messed up. Like, especially for darker skin tones, like, I normally do a lot of layers for that. And so, like, I was having a lifting problem, like, on their faces. And I was like, ah, I should have done a watercolor base. It, like, didn't even matter on any other painting, but this one, it mattered, and I did not do it. (laughs) So, that's slightly annoying. Yeah, I, like, painted so much today, like, towards the end, and it was still, like, looking really bad. There was, like, this fun fact. There was, like, this little fun 30 minutes today where, like, I had every possible mistake happening to me. I think it's right after this, actually. But, um, I was trying to do, like, line art and, like, finish this up. I was like, let's just do it. You know, let's just finish it up. I mixed myself, like, a dark green to just, like, do line art with that. Which, the reference photo does not have dark green line art, but I was just trying to finish, like, the painting faster. And, like, I was getting so frustrated, because, like, everything wrong was happening. Like, I was just having, like, everything. I was, like, smudging things with my hand, and then, like, all of my, like, line art lines were looking really bad, and I kept messing up. And I was like, why am I messing up on every single brush stroke? And I got, like, paint on my table... And, like, um, I was, like, dropping water on the painting, which doesn't always matter. But, like, with this gouache, fun fact, it matters. Oh, yeah. And um, 
I decided to blur my background, which is what I'm doing right now. So I just took like a dark brown, like a very watered down brown. And I painted over the background to kind of like blur it out because it was looking really bad. And also in the reference photo, the background is blurred. So um, it looks really scary, I think. But it actually like ended up like coming in handy. Yeah, so fun fact, this painting has an even worse ugly stage. Here's the part where I kept messing up. Like, you see me, like, dabbing, like, the painting with my rag because I was just having all of the problems. Yeah, and to be fair, this liner brush is kind of, like, hard to use, so there's that. <laughs> but, yeah, and, like, I was just having all of the problems, and I was like, what is going on? And, like, her hand was, like, looking really bad, and then, like, I, like, kept messing up, and at one point, I literally dropped paint on her face. Like, I splattered paint on her face. And I was like, what is happening? Like, I was first, I was like, maybe it's just, like, a coincidence. I'm thinking about it too hard. But then I dropped paint on her face, and I was like, yeah, what is, like, what is going on? Like, I make a lot of mistakes while painting, but, like, never this many all, like, the same time. And I was getting so frustrated, and I was, like, really hungry. I was, like, ready to start crying. <laughs> I was, like, so mad. And then, like, we didn't even have, like, the food I wanted, and I was like, no! Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy I finished it, even if it was, like, rough at the end. But yeah, I did, like, push through, and then, like, the painting started to look good. And I was like, oh my god, it's looking good. Am I about to finish this? And I was so happy. I got my tiny brush out, and I was like, I'm never using this liner brush again. No, okay, I'm gonna use a liner brush again, but you know gotta be exaggerated sometimes <laughs> also i think the lighting did turn out okay i was really struggling with that on this one yeah and i the background is like really really blurred in like the reference photo so i think it's okay that mine looks really blurred too and i'm adding this border which i wasn't sure i was gonna do i did this to my cinderella one and it looked really good i wasn't sure i was gonna do this time but i had so much of the dark green like like line art color so i ended up doing it and I think it looks really good. I was going to say way better, but then I said really good. So, you know, fun fact. Um, <laughs> yes, and I'm adding some final details. There's no glitter in the reference photo, but I needed the glitter. I was like, you know what? We're going to make it look good. But yeah, so here are, you know, the paints because everyone wanted to see that. Um, <laughs> and the mixing palette. And then I will show you the final painting. Also, fun fact, when I first opened these, I thought there was mold growing on them, and I was really scared, so I cleaned them off, and I don't think it was actually mold, so um, I dried them out for nothing. So, you know, fun facts. So, here are the final paintings. I don't think they're very finished, and I did forget to paint the stupid water wheel on the boat, which is really annoying. Yeah, so I think they look kind of unfinished, but, like, you know, for, like, one week of drawing. Oh, well, yeah, and on this one, I dropped white, like, on the tree. You can see it right there. So there's like a white thumbprint <laughs> in the middle of the painting that I didn't feel like fixing. And I was like, I'm just done. I don't even care about those two with the thumbprint. Yeah, and I will show some pictures of them too. Even though I think the editing app, like it, like edited the colors of the photos. So the photos look really like weird. Like, I don't know why they're so like saturated and weird looking, but um, yeah. So here they are compared to the reference photo, even though... Yeah, what is going on with the blue? Like, why do the colors look so funky? Yeah, so, you know, now you can see, you know, how bad the paintings look. And the... You know, just just don't blame me. It's the photos. Like, they... This editing app, like, messed with the photos, like, color, and they look really strange. And we're at the end of the video, so see you next week. Thanks for watching, and check out my Redbubble store link in the description. Bye! <laughs>